In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool black and white photo and then have part of the photo still be in color. To show you guys the quality of this, I'm going to zoom in. And um, I should have been having her have a flash or have her a little farther away from the wall, but I didn't. But the quality was pretty good. Okay, so I have the photo. You just take the color photo and open it up in GIMP. Okay, once you have the photo opened up in GIMP, I already have this Layers tab open. It's the one that's going around in a circle right now on the screen. If it's not open, you don't even need to go over to your Windows tab. Go Recently Closed Docs, and if it's not there, you can go down to the Dockable over there, and then you're going to hit Layers. And uh, you need this layer tab, and if you never worked with layers, think of your top of your monitor and you looking down. And that's what you see. That's how layers work. So you're going to need to hit the duplicate button where my mouse is right now to duplicate that. So you, now you have two color photos on top of each other. So you need to select that top one, and then go over to Colors. Then go over to Colorizer. And then you're going to take the saturation down to zero. So now you have a black and white photo on top of a color photo. To show you guys how this works, is I'm going to deselect the eyeball button. And by deselecting the eyeball button, it's going to allow you to see the photo underneath for the color. So you can see it's the exact same photo. And by just hitting the eyeball, I can see the other layer. Okay. Next, you're going to make sure you select the top one, go to Layer, Transparency, and then you're going to select Add Alpha Channel. This is going to be allowing black and white, I mean, for allowing transparency on that top layer, because we're basically going to be deleting where the balloon is so you can see the color on the other side. The more that you zoom in and the more time you take, you're going to get a lot better quality photo out of this and you can see a lot more detail. You can even go down to doing single pixels by the edges which is pretty easy if you have a well lit area and the background's different. So we're going to take the rectangle tool and you're going to select it and you can just hit delete. Then you're going to do select none. Um, also you can use the erase tool, hit the circle into a bigger circle. You can also hit the, go down to the scale and take that up to scale 10 this is going to allow you to have a bigger circle to be erasing. This could take a little while if you do it this method, and there's a lot better method when you're doing this, which can get a little better detail. And that's the scissor tool. I think it's a pretty, it's actually a, like a smart scissor. You're going to select that scissor tool, and you're just going to be selecting around the area that you want to be in color. Um, so you just do a click, another click, and it'll, it'll see the darker edge, so it'll help. And then do another click, and you can see it's not good right there, so you're going to click in the line, and then you're going to drag it over to where you want it. And you can do a, it's many, many clicks to get more detail. Then you're going to go around and make the circle. And now, I'm going to zoom in real quick. You, it's like a little star, and once you see like two circles inside of each other, that's when you put your mouse by the other one to complete the circle. You're going to click there. Once you click there, you're going to click inside the middle of what you just made, the circle, and now you just selected that area. So now you're going to hit the delete button on your keyboard, do select none, so then you can go on to the rest of the balloon. So once you finish coloring in your balloon, but you're going to save it. So upper left hand side, hit file, save as, and I already have one saved. You can name the file whatever you'd like. If you'd like to select a different file format, it's on the bottom part where it says select a file type. Um, when you want to make sure you save this in a spot you can find it, hit save. It's I already had it saved, so it's asking if I want to replace. Hit saying that JPEG cannot handle transparency. Change the quality to 100%. Hit save and there you have it this is matthew from matthewrichard.com if you have any questions leave a comment below and like this video check out my other videos too thanks levitation photography is very similar so check out this video by clicking here